Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you a simple way to control filters using a mouse area. And this technique works best with the EQ filters, but it'll work with um, quite a few of the primary filters pretty well. I'm just going to make a numeric readout and set it to be always active in order to get our filter to be active. And then what a lot of people don't know is that in the view tab of properties, you can actually set most of the filter um, objects in primary to be visible on the panel. And it will give you a visual display of the frequency response of the filter. So if you create some knobs um, and twiddle them around, you'll see the frequency response change. Cutoff won't do anything unless the boost is changed. And you can see it move around. So the trick here is just to replace the knobs with a mouse area. And so we're going to set the mouse area to have the same width and height as the EQ device. So I'll set it to be 100 by 52 pixels. And then we'll give the x-axis the same range as the pitch cutoff knob. So I'll give it a maximum of 120 and a minimum of 20. And we'll give the y-axis the same range as the boost knob. So it'll range from negative 20 to a maximum of 20. And then we can get rid of the knobs altogether and replace them with the x-y outputs from the mouse area. Now we just need to align the mouse area over the filter and you'll see it doesn't quite fit properly because of the frame that the filter has around it but we can get around this using the offset area in the view tab of properties just offset both the x and y values by two and now we can draw in the frequency response of the filter once again this is salamander anagram with reactor tutorials.com thanks for watching